Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Jeffrey Sutton. Yeah, uh, if you've heard of him, well, uh, you know how much of a sick man this guy is. And in this video, he's going to attempt to defend his actions and proclaim that he is going to get the uh, sex offender registry abolished. Yeah, good luck with that. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Independent Dash First Amendment Auditor, and it's education time. Because today, here on my channel, instead of doing an auditing video, I'm going to do an educational video right here on my channel. Well, now, I thought since he acts like a child in this video, I might as well give him a child's voice, considering it's quite appropriate for what he's been convicted of. So stick around. You might learn something. Okay? And I will go ahead and make it bigger so you guys can see it. There you go. So these, these are my three charges. Evidently, a lot of you goddamn dumbasses out there think I have multiple charges. Well, dude, uh, if you would actually take a look at a dictionary, you would find that, uh, well, they're right, that... Uh, you do have multiple charges, considering that you've got one, and in some cases, in some definitions, it would be a minimum of three that would count as multiple. So your inability to understand uh, what the word multiple means is not exactly a uh, defect that other people have. It's more of a, your responsibility in this case. Despite what you see on your screen. Now, I hope your eyes are good. I hope you know how to read. If not, I feel sorry for you. But you gotta work on you gotta work on your reading uh, shit on your own time. But for the video, anyways, here are my charges: attempt robbery, first degree. That's that one. That's what that line right there means. It's the number one. Attempt robbery in the first degree. Date of sentence current. Uh, sentencing court Pierce County, Washington. Now I don't know about you, but I can read just fine. I don't see where anywhere it says Florida. Does that say Florida? No, I don't think it does. It says Pierce County, Washington, where I'm originally from. Well, gee, dumbass, if you had resided in Florida for any given amount of time while you were a sex offender, then it would be only natural that Florida would warn everybody by putting that on their website. Okay, born and raised in Washington. I hope I've helped on that alone. Dumbasses. Date of crime, 1709. And you know what's sad? I shouldn't have even have to do this because, you know, you guys have my file right there in front of you. Most of you do anyways. And you can't even read that off right. Hey, what's with all the misdirected anger? You know where that anger should be going toward? Toward yourself because you done screwed up your life and you have nobody to blame but yourself. But, of course, it looks like you're trying to place blame on other people because, well, that's what fraudsters do. They can't take responsibility for their own actions. So, I gotta make a video to correct your dumbasses. How fucking sad is that? Adult, obviously. And here, I want you guys, this is the part I want you guys to pay attention in the video. Hence the reason why I'm doing this in the first place. Because you guys just don't fucking get it. Type of crime, V, V for violent, V for violent, yeah, robbery, I'm sorry, attempt robbery, I don't know how you attempt anything, but more on that later if there's time, attempt robbery, V for violent, conveniently left out on purpose, next one, criminal impersonation, Basically, what that means, there's no room to put it in there, but it says criminal impersonation of a police officer is the term for that. Current, Pierce County, Washington, 1709, again, adult, NV. What's NV stand for, dumbasses? Non-violent. Dude, I haven't exactly seen any education techniques. In fact, uh, 
you would make a rather poor educator because I have only seen uh, classic textbook examples of what not to do to your class, such as being uh, rude and condescending to your students, which is something that doesn't exactly build self-esteem in your students. So yeah, you are not an educator. You are just a jackass pretending to be one. But I saved the best for fucking last. Possession, depictions of minors, and sexually exploited, I'm sorry, explicit conduct. Yeah, right? Fucked up, right? Uh huh, mm hmm, mm hmm. Same play, uh, same current, same place, same date, adult. But pay attention. MV. Non fucking violent. What's the S mean? I'm glad you asked. Non violent sex crime. That's why I say it's a victimless crime. Ooh, sorry, but no, uh, there's a reason why uh, minors are considered to be protected, and uh, it is a definite crime, and a victim crime at that, because they have not yet reached the age of consent. And at the younger ages, these children are quite able to be manipulated by older assholes like you. They have neither the experience nor maturity to understand what is going on at that particular time. So you know what? They have to be protected from sick douche canoes such as yourself. I have no victims. I'll say it again for you haters that can't stand this shit. Because you're uneducated. Non-violent sex crime. I thought sex was physical. If it was physical, then that would be a violent sex crime. Because it's physical. But I don't know if you guys understand what uh, depictions mean. It's not a fancy word for pictures. Because you're uneducated. What victims? I don't have any victims. And if you, if you guys can, uh, you know, find their fucking phone numbers and whatnot, call them up and I'll fucking apologize. What victims? I don't have any victims. This is real money, by the way. Not fake. Yeah, I'll take a hundred dollar bill and fucking show you. Oh, my bad. It shows backwards. That, does that look like fake money to you? Major shout out to Aza. I hope I said your fucking bitch ass name right. I really don't care, nonetheless. But, one more piece of advice from all of you that are sharing my shit. People that are sharing my shit like this and my uh, Florida shit, you guys are actually going to help me with evidence because all I got to do is just fucking show this to my lawmakers. You know what I'm saying? All this is going to get shown. Sounds like he's butthurt because so many people are exposing him for what he is. Um, yeah. So all this is going to get shown to when I go down to the uh, Capitol and whatnot and uh, with my um, groups and whatnot. And we're going to change the laws. We are working on it right now, actually, behind the scenes, which, which you guys don't even know. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. You're going to be a force for change throughout Washington and then the rest of the country, aren't you? Yeah, I don't think so. We're going to abolish the registry. Big things are coming down the pipe when it comes to me. Well, now, that's about all I can stand of this freaking idiot, considering that he spends all his time trying to justify that uh, the sex offender registry should be abolished, be probably because, you know what, those who have the biggest problem with it are often the offenders themselves. And I can understand why that is, too, because I knew a man who... Uh, he has been in and out of prison his whole life, but has had no uh, sex offender related charges. But that's one thing he loves to do is to go on to the sex offender website to see who's in the area just so he can uh, know who's in the area of his residency so he can uh, 
well, drive them out at the very least, uh, because that's what he's told me he wants to do with it. But that's his on uh, that's on his head. Well, guys, I'm out right now because uh, I just can't stand to listen to this idiot any longer. So I will see you guys on the next video.